Hey everyone, just a quick little note um, about May, mental health awareness. This is the whole month about mental health awareness. And I don't think I don't know a single person that's not going through like something very significant right now that's either life-changing or over-emotional, chaotic, all the above. And I was having this conversation with my son who's 16 years old and I was talking to him about, we're, you know, we're in the search for a, a new therapist because I believe that everybody should have a therapist that they talk to on occasion when they need to work things out. And um, the therapist we had for my son moved out of the country. So we're on that search right now. And he made some comment like, you know, I don't want you to waste your money. And I was like, I want you to think of therapy like a gym membership as much as it's important to keep your body fit, it's important to keep your mental health fit. That's it. And you don't have insurance covering the gym membership, do you? And he was like, no. I said, this is just as important as a gym membership. And I wish everybody could kind of flip that switch in their thinking about mental health. Because it is, when you have a good one, somebody who can really help you through those struggling times, and especially teenagers, they need someone to talk to that isn't their parent. They're gonna be more apt to share with somebody else, especially somebody who's licensed to help them through the crisis. So I encourage you out there, if you're a parent, or even if you're not a parent, and you're stopping yourself from getting the help you need because of, oh, insurance doesn't cover it, every few months to go and talk to somebody and talk things through with a professional, um, do something for your mental health, whatever that something looks like, because we're all in it. It's not uh, going away. And I can't think of a person that this isn't affecting. So again, putting on your oxygen mask and taking care of yourself. It's really, really important. So I just wanted to share that with you all. Um, and I hope that um, you can, again, Take some deep breaths, calm the mind, find a meditation practice. I suck at meditating, I'm not gonna lie. I listen to this stuff called Hemisync, which is binaural beat, and so I just put it on and my brain shuts off and it's great. But there's no pressure, you know, I'm not like picturing a field and, you know, <laughs> doing some sort of guided thing. I And then I just sit and my mind goes, in a million directions. So hemisync is the only thing that seems to stop my mind from going in a different, like that. So give it a shot. Maybe it'll work for you. You could just Google binaural beats on YouTube. Do a search binaural beats, B-I-N-A, I think A-U-R-A-L beats. There are some videos that go on for hours. You know, just throw on some headphones and have a field day. Okay, that's all I got for now.